The three talented chefs behind Salt Lake City's Table X bring the concept of breaking bread in a contemporary setting to a whole new level. This dream team of collaborators are artisans themselves and handcraft every detail in their restaurant and the design of their menu. Their dishes showcase the exotic produce that comes out of their own garden, creating a unique kind of dining that can only be experienced at Table X. Sweetwater Kitchen is located in the Boulder Mountain Guest Ranch, just outside of the beautiful and infamous Escalante National Monument. They offer Utah visitors an unexpected and welcomed retreat. Sweetwater Kitchen is a little bit off the beaten path, but the perfect place to unplug and experience the time to savor a menu that mirrors the landscape. One restaurant with a mission to articulate their passion for food, flavors and gastronomy, and the other to satisfy your passion to escape, be filled, and feel right at home. You know, Taste Utah, it's more than a typical food series. Oh, that's right, James. It's about local flavor. From roots through unique, authentically Utah restaurants. Oh, absolutely. It's the people, the places that make Utah a dining destination. We love it because there's so much soil and earth to uncover, but still so many great Utah restaurants to savor. Well, that's just it. We bring the stories and we spread the love. The best thing about Utah, the views along the way, they're not bad either. We're not afraid to get our hands just a little dirty. Food is a necessity, but it's how we create it and share it and experience it together that really shapes our community. You always have a seat at our table. Are you ready to taste Utah? are in the Mill Creek area of Salt Lake City and uh, today it's all about Table X. Oh, James, Table X is a restaurant that's committed to serving fresh fruits, fresh vegetables. They're butchering in-house, bringing in whole Berkshire hogs. We're gonna meet Chef Nick, he's back in the secret garden, so we're not even going through the front door. We're I going around it. back. I love it, they keep their eyes and their hands close to the earth. Let's go meet Nick. Hi, Nick. Hi, welcome. Hey nice to see you. Wow. Welcome wow. to Table X. Oh, and man. the garden. Yeah, the garden. <laughs> this is our garden. Just uh, checking on some tomatoes and our collard greens right now. Oh, gorgeous. Uh, yeah, we, we spend a lot of time out here. We grow as much as we can on site. So we have tomatoes and uh, grapes and currants and strawberries. And I have a full-time gardener that maintains all of this space for us. So Didn't you have a, a huge hand in actually building yeah, these raised so beds? Yeah, so we actually built all of these raised beds from uh, reclaimed uh, wood from the, from the building. Uh, so me and my two other partners built all of these while we were under construction of the building. So. so what's growing back here, does that dictate what's on the menu? Uh, very often, yeah. So these tomatoes are on the menu tonight. Uh, we have collard greens on the menu right now as well. Um, and we change our menu so much, uh, it's, uh, it's really influenced by what we pull out here. What do you think we get into some of that? Yeah, that sounds good. Let's head inside. I got a table for you. Oh, Yay. thank yeah. you. Hey, we'll let you lead the way. Yeah, after me. Chef Nick, you really do bring the garden inside. Yeah, we try <laughs> to bring the garden to the table, for uh, sure. This is pretty amazing. Tell us kind of what uh, what you're growing, what you have in front of us here. Uh, so these are a lot of the products that we just brought in from the garden before we got all the frost. Um, but heirloom tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, uh, we have Crenshaw melons. Oh. Uh, this is a variety of butternut squash. It's called honey nut. Uh, we have uh, Armenian cucumbers. So that's uh, something that we're going to taste today. Ooh, and uh, nice. we have a little bit of summer squash here as well. Love it. The bread. Yeah. The bread is a big uh, thing that we've been doing since day one. It's a big focus of ours. We think that uh, every good meal deserves great bread. Um, not only the whole term breaking bread, but uh, it's just a uh, we give every table, like every guest that comes in gets bread complimentary. So um, it's just part of our whole plan from the get beginning. You're even bringing in whole Berkshire hogs. You've sure. done this from day one. Yeah, to... day one. We've been working with Christian Hansen Farm out of Twilla, Utah. And uh, we've been getting whole Berkshire hogs. And then we do all the charcuterie in house. Um, and then we also do all of the butchery. So we have a dish on our menu that just says Christian Hansen Berkshire pork. And that's all it says. And then we change that 
as, as we feel as we need to. You really are supporting the local, let's say, ecosystem mm -hmm. of farmers and mm -hmm. producers as well. So mm -hmm. you do source a little bit of your produce from other Yeah, so the garden growers. can't sustain the restaurant. It's not, it's not, it's not large enough, A, and um, it's not really meant for that. Um, we try to grow a lot of specialty products in the garden, yes. and then we work with a lot of local farms and urban farms um, to get supplemented produce. Would you mind naming a couple of the yeah, ones Yeah, we you work do? with Frog Bench Farms, we work with uh, Keep It Real Farms, uh, we get our eggs out of Provo uh, from Clifford Family Farm, uh. um, Chris Jansen Family Farm in Vernon. Um, so yeah, we work with as many people as we can source. That's a big, big undertaking for sure. Why take on so much? Is it is it more work? Is it for you, is it really about um, the mission of the restaurant? Well, sure. Well, me and my partners, um, we kind of got to a point in our careers where it wasn't fun anymore, you know? And, and this whole restaurant was a way for us to strip away all that and do whatever we wanted. This is my life and this is what I do, so I want to do as, it, as well as I can. So we change as often because as a cook, you get kind of bored after a while, you know? We don't, have a, we, don't have a, we don't have a burger on the menu. We don't have fries on the menu. You know, you might come in one night and then you might come in two weeks later or three weeks later and the menu might be completely different. And that's exciting. Right. As a diner, that is exciting. Right. And some people will have a hard time learning that, but we think it's a really unique thing. Yeah, to absolutely. Um, you have this quiet humility to you mm. because you're just doing good work and the work speaks for itself, yeah. which is so exciting. For us, I know one of the things we love to do is pop back in the kitchen because sure. we know it's such an honor to be able to get back there and it truly is the heart of sure. the operation. Sure. So would it be possible of course. for us to Of course, I have some things ready to, for you to taste. Yeah, okay. oh, can't wait. Let's awesome. do it. This cool. bread is fabulous. Yes. Thank it you is. very much. Thank you. Now, this is where you're most comfortable, yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Oh, gorgeous. My zone for sure. This, this kitchen is immaculate, yes. I have to say. Everything is put away, labeled just such. Your stations are so clean and tidy. And I have to ask, um, who's who's the head chef above the door? I'm I don't glad, know who this I'm is. I'm glad you asked. Yeah. That's my dad. Oh, yeah. Right. That's yeah. so, so, so cool. Yeah, okay. that's my dad. So uh, he uh, went to culinary school in France. Really? Um, wow. Shortly before he died. but. Um, um, he's a big inspiration for this restaurant, so he overlooks the kitchen. I love that. That is amazing. Yeah, so we have uh, some of those Armenian cucumbers that I was talking about. So uh, these are cucumbers that we uh, marinate in a little bit of uh, melon vinegar. We serve it with these uh, cucumbers. And then we have uh, brown cherries. Oh, we, we worked with a local ceramicist, a uh, ceramic oh. artist, to, to, to uh, make all of our plates. Wow. Um, so uh, these are one of the plates that uh, we used. I, I like it just because it has a nice shine on it and has some color, so it brings nice. a little unique And still food. sort of a rustic, yeah. you know, like earthy vibe. A this is a uh, little bit of chimichurri that's uh, made oh. from um, all the different herbs on the, uh, on the that's property. That's fragrant. Everything that you open mm. suddenly, it's robust. I mean, that's how you can really tell what you're working with is alive. The, the fragrance is still there. That. Yeah, there's, there's, we try to go as fresh as possible. So we're already, you know, there's going to be so many flavors, just even yeah. with the layering and marinating and everything you, you're so So this is so a little uh, Serrano chili slaw. Oh. Uh, it's, it's pretty spicy. Okay. So we don't go too hard on it. So here comes the spice. Yes. All right. I uh, love it. The Serrano's uh, grown here. A little spicy. And I love, I love the way a chef can use a, a small pair of tongs slash tweezers. Oh. I just love that skill. It is the, it is the artistry of like a, a true chef, you know, yeah. like that stamp. Try, uh, I don't like to wear gloves often. So, oh. so this is that house-made tasso ham oh, that we were talking about. That smells incredible. Um, smoked in house, made in house, cured in house. When you're talking about smoking, curing all of these elements, uh -huh. how long does that take? You're um, talking about some time, right? Bringing yeah, in a whole definitely. hog, butchering, butchering it. Yeah, it takes us a couple days to break down the whole animal and yeah. then, uh, then to process it in all the different ways we want. We kind of plan that out and that yeah. takes a little bit of time. And then, I mean, just some of the curing processes take a few days in and of itself. So. Absolutely. 
you are enjoying more of the time consuming yeah. elements of the kitchen. It really, at pasta making, that's nice and time consuming. It, it is very it's like my therapy. Yeah, yeah. I see at the thoughtful <laughs> elements of. So, um, so we just finished art. this with a little nice uh, good wow. olive oil. Oh. Just art on a plate. Is it a specific kind of olive oil? I mean, uh, I can see that bright kind of effervescent yeah, it's, color. Yeah, uh, it's actually. Uh, it's called Paola. It's uh, oh. from Umbria. It's one of the number one rated olive oils in the world. Yeah. It's really nice stuff. Are you guys getting that from Caputo's from or Apiori? Yeah. 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 We, we work at Apiori for sure. We get all of our specialty stuff from them. So. And, and and how often do you eat your own food? Oh uh, well, we taste everything here every day. Love it. Good so, answer. Yeah, yeah. Um, I could probably spend more time making sure I get three square meals a day, but other than that, we taste all the food here every day. Okay. So a little of everything. Yes. In one bite. Go for right. it. We'll just get a little. Yes. Okay. So I notice there's it. this. Mm -hmm. It's really good. There's that on there too. And, uh oh, <laughs> here we go. Give me a big bite. She won't be talking for a minute, but I know she's gonna love it. Okay, I'm gonna taste too. It just looks so, so right. Let's see how this cuts. I'm taking it all in. Mm. <laughs> It is so, I mean, because it's layers of flavor, mm. it's nuance, it's mm -hmm. texture, so many, so many elements mm. that sort of marry together. Mm -hmm. You think you've hit one texture, nope, down to the next. Oh, yeah. it's, it's really it's got exciting. Sweetness, it's got spiciness, spice. it's got smokiness, oh. it's got mm -hmm. crunch from the cucumber. The whole thing, it's out of control. And Table X really has the soul of the restaurant with the, with the garden. The heart of the restaurant is right here. Mm -hmm. The inspiration is up there, and it's been such an honor for us to be a part of all of the good work that the three of, of you are doing. Yeah, for truly us for you, Utah. a trifecta. Thank you so Thank much. You so much. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>
they're all handmade, so they make them say to they order. Look, wow. yeah, yeah, we make them yeah. to order every time. So, so they're not yeah. from package yeah. or anything. It's just all hand, just hand put on the grill before you order it. We pride ourselves in just uh, starting from raw ingredients and turning into excellent food. Mm -hmm. And what I love about it, it's, um, it incorporates all five senses. Um, the, and I don't know any art form that does, does that. And also you're, uh, you're nourishing people, taking care of people. And it's, it's one of those things that are just it's, it's so primal. Everybody needs to eat. Not everybody needs to look at a painting, but everybody needs to eat. And if you can show somebody love in how you take care of their food, I think that's a, that's a great way to you know, go about making your, your day. I, mean, I want to say <laughs> preach. I mean, you, are, you are singing our song, and that is exactly what, what we feel as well. And you, you can taste it in the food. It's, it, it is tangible on the plate. The love, the care, the artistry, the magic. I mean, the landscape is feeding you your soul. It's just so nourishing. And so it's equally as exciting to be able to get something that nourishes the body as well. Yeah, and we're really lucky to be where we're at. Even though we're in a high desert and the climate is a little unforgiving, we can still grow a lot of produce. Mm -hmm. So this year we got just a ton of produce. Every day our gardener was bringing yeah. us buckets and buckets of produce and we were just ecstatic, you know, to put that on the plate. And people felt the same way. It was just, you can just taste the sun and the water. And, there's nothing yes. better than fresh grown food and we're, we're so grateful to be able to do that. We, f we do feel like the kitchen is a sacred space. It's fun to be in Sweetwater Kitchen where the whole thing mm -hmm. is a sacred space. Yeah. That's where the magic happens. Yeah, it's Ooh, yes. Yes. You, you took the lid. Right <laughs> um, so we've heard, so we've um, heard. <laughs> could we maybe pop in back, Chef, and, yeah. and, and just see the master at work? Yeah, okay. absolutely. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. We are so excited to be back in the kitchen with you. Conversation at the table was absolutely incredible and super powerful. We're here with your sous chef, Brad, as well, yeah. who, of course, it, you couldn't do what you do without an amazing team right. of people. Right, right. Yeah, we have a team of very passionate, talented cooks, and uh, we're very lucky for that. Oh, that's Absolutely. A, oh, amazing. What are you going to make for us? Uh, we're doing our bison burger. Uh, oh. This is probably our biggest seller, uh, probably because it's most recognizable on our menu. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sometimes people travel and they want something recognizable. We uh, sear the burger, top it with bacon and some Oaxaca cheese. We have some uh, homemade uh, garlic yoli that we're gonna put on the homemade uh, focaccia bun that we make. Ooh. Oh my goodness. And uh, we, we make that every day, um, wow. fresh every day, so it's, wow. you know, you never get anything but the best. Oh, mm -hmm. I love it. Come here, you'll get the best. Yeah. Um, all, all right, right. start. Yes. 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 Turn so that right. Right. Get this bacon, bacon started. And, grab and you're bun. using cast iron? Um, yeah, or yeah, cast okay. iron for the burger. For the burger. Yeah, this over here is gonna be a Oh, what's that? You're, you're just putting on the griddle there? Oh, you're just right. going to get crispy for us? Yeah, okay. get slow and crispy over there. Um, what, what kind of a weight are we talking about? Is this like a this is third, a pound? third, third I, pound burger ooh, right here? Hey. You come hungry, you're going to leave, you know, satisfied. Oh my gosh. Wow. So right here we got our, our bun toasting. Brad, oh. hit, hit up the grill with the bun. Right, I love it. Right. <laughs> All right, so it looks like bacon and cheese went oh, on the bison burger. Oh, I love it. James, the play-by-play -play is too good. <laughs> it's forgotten. Um, yes, a little steam. What did you do there? <laughs> okay, just, uh, just, just a splash of water to get just, that cheese and melt real yeah. quick. Yeah, so it's okay. nice. It's Oaxaca cheese. It's like the Mexican mozzarella. Yeah. It's really soft. Oh, okay. It melts really quick. Um, but uh, so does the burger cook really quick, so we have to, you know, yeah. Yeah. if you let the cheese melt on its own, it's going to overcook, and so we got to splash water really speeds it up. Yeah, Love absolutely. your timing. I know, Impeccable it's Impeccable timing. Uh, so we got our toast and focaccia. Um, it's warm and very soft. Yeah, that looks so good. And then right good. here we got our house-made uh, garlic ancho aioli. So this burger is probably like just about like, ready. You know, Chef Eric's um, gospel. Yes, I know, I'm taking okay, notes, mental yeah. notes. All right, I have no idea. Yeah, I'm what? excited to see what's going on. So we're just gonna uh, caramelize the cheese because it's always better, uh, a little bit caramelized, you know? Really? So melted, this is the next level to melt it. Right, yeah, so uh, you know on the grilled cheese sandwich where that cheese drips off and it yeah. caramelizes on the pan? I always like, oh, it's always my favorite part, so. There are so many marketing terms that fly around, half handcrafted, yeah. made in house, artisan, because you know, maybe you've mixed Ooh. the mayonnaise and the garlic and you've made your aioli. But this is 100% legitimate. Chef Eric, uh, so <laughs> Chef Brad, this this dynamic duo is exceptional. I really do think that, um, you know, I'm, I'm seeing some power couples in Boulder City, yeah. which I love. <laughs> and speaking of, can we um, go catch up with uh, Eva again? And 
Maybe she's in the garden? Yeah, I think she's out in the garden. Today. We yeah. would love to see that. Maybe we take this with us? Great. I, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank awesome. you. Yoink. I have a gorgeous, gorgeous landscape. It, it's so important to understand the land, what it will grow and what it will give you and be teachable. Tell us a little bit about the experience of, of cultivating the garden. The thing is here we have very compacted soil, it's like clay. Yeah. Yeah. So it takes a lot of aerating it and getting uh, like carrots and beets and potatoes are great because they aerate the soil naturally. Oh. And um, we grow all sorts of stuff in here, um, all kinds of kales, lettuces, all the root vegetables I just mentioned, and edible flowers. We love edible flowers. Oh, they're so sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And we're super excited because actually uh, we have a couple greenhouses here and then um, this building on the left used to be a chicken coop and go all the way this way mm. and that was our garden was up it? until last year was just this. Wow, okay. it's, I'm getting the expansion vibe. You really yeah. are growing. We measured it and it's five times the original size. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Cool. I bet yeah. that's exciting. It's super exciting. So beautiful in the height of its growing season. It's all green and lush and wow. yeah, we'd oh. love to have anybody and if you're and passionate everybody. about growing yeah. or being in the kitchen, we'd love to hear from you really? too. Really? Is that an opportunity? I know that there are individuals that are just, you know, even seeking a, even a month, two, three, four sabbatical where they yeah. could come down and just reconnect with um, the deeper meanings oh, of life. Oh, get their fingernails <laughs> a little things. dirty. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we're always looking for new souls and, yeah. of, you know, great people, so. It's a great energy yeah. down here. I can imagine mm -hmm. it only attracts the very best, which is super cool. It's, it's a very special area. Yeah. Absolutely. And there's nothing like beautiful, pure, oh. wild land. Oh, so. wild land. Well, let's keep it that way. Absolutely. <laughs> right. Thank you so much for your Thanks time for and for just introducing us to everyone. And we will be regular visitors of the kitchen Great. and the ranch. I'm so happy I to know. hear it. I'm making our reservations now. <laughs> okay, <We> let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Evan. You're welcome. Thank you.